Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Have you ever wondered in the winter time, December, January, you see your bees bringing in pollen on a warm day and you're like, where in the world do they find pollen on a cold winter day? And if you get out and look, you'll probably find some. Now just going through our garden here, I was out checking out the the turnips, you got turnips, cabbage. Look at the broccoli heading right there. It's looking really good. And as you come up here, you see hembit. There's hembit in bloom right here. So, right here some bloomed out. And also seen some dandelions bloomed. They're like a low-laying dandelion. We had a very hard frost last night, very hard. But some of this stuff is so resilient that it it can resist some pretty good hard solid freezes. And a lot of it too in the wintertime if you notice. And a lot of times mowing induces this here and causes this. Uh, these dandelions that, that grow very short. As you mow them, th they'll tend to, to grow very short. And you know, because you're mowing over and all through the summer and the ones that survive are the ones or the blooms are the ones that are very very short like this and you can tell and you can go to a field that's that's not mowed as much and they'll be they'll be taller but that helps a lot is it's very low to the ground and it can resist frost and freezes a lot better so I mean we're in we're in December what is today December 5th 6th and you still see things, you know, there's some more hembit right there. And uh, there's a bunch of it right there around my uh, cabbage. I got some cabbage and broccoli right there growing. Uh, collard greens, turnip greens. We had a big old mess of, of uh, not turnip greens, uh, collard greens and kale. Kale on the other side there. We had a big old mess for, for Thanksgiving. That was very good. So if you ever wonder where they're getting the pollen, just go out and look. Look around your yard, you'll find stuff. They don't bring in a lot. I mean, if you have a pollen feeder, you know where that's coming from, but if you don't, and you wanna know where the natural pollen is coming from, just get out and look. A Little bit right there. Very short, very low to the ground. It survives very well. you see a couple more. There's some dandelions right there. Get out of my shadow, right there right there they're just spread all throughout the the yard out here they're everywhere so not right now but it's a little bit chilly every now and then on a good warm day you'll see them out here pulling pollen off these uh little dandelions so that's just just a little thought to put out there uh, if you ever see your bees working and bringing in pollen that'll kind of give you a little idea what's going on you can see them out through here a little bit a little bit of pollen there there's quite a few of them a little bit more than usual than than i usually say there's a there's some kind of insect right there on it now feeding off of the pollen some more over here look at that very see how short it is very low to the ground there's some kind of little almost like a sweat bee i don't know what you call those little be looking critters but anyway just thought just something i'd show you give you kind of an idea when you see your bees out working or bringing in pollen to kind of give you understanding where it's coming from so that's about it folks don't forget please click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees